overnight, I literally went from being active to flatlined. And it was, it was terrifying. For Candace Mathis, the fear was twofold. Her blood pressure dropped, her stomach in painful distress. Worst of all, the mother of three had absolutely no idea why. It was very unnerving and overwhelming. For 15 years, she suffered before one doctor finally found the cause. A single bite from a Lone Star tick giving Candace alpha-gal syndrome. The condition not just painful, but dangerous too, causing a food allergy to red meat and other foods. A summer barbecue with hot dogs and hamburgers could be absolutely life-threatening. And not just if you eat it. You walk into a restaurant, someone's cooking bacon or a steak, that could be enough. Yes, absolutely. I, I've gone anaphylactic within 10 minutes of inhaling the fumes of mammalian meat or dairy cooking. Scientists believe when a Lone Star tick bites an animal, it ingests a sugar called alpha-gal, which is also found in red meat and some dairy products. Ticks can then transfer it to humans. Some can develop severe symptoms. It was the mystery ailment best-selling author John Grisham opened up about when he first experienced symptoms back in 2002. Writing his skin felt like it was on fire with hives. Dr. Scott Common says the number of patients diagnosed with this syndrome has increased in the past couple years. Adding symptoms can often vary. Looks like a, an inflamed, uh, red, itchy welt almost at the site of the tick bite. People will say it's slow to heal. And occasionally they'll even say that if they have a reaction to eating beef or pork or lamb, that the site of the bite is the first place that itches them. If identified and treated correctly, symptoms can still persist for up to three to five years. But for Candace, it's brought a permanent lifestyle shift. I've chosen to step into a space of focusing on the joyful times and you just have to take baby steps. And doctors say that if you want to avoid being around ticks, keep in mind where they live. These wooded areas can be absolutely dangerous for some people. So they recommend wearing light clothing, using a chemical repellent that includes DEET. And worst of all, if you do think you or a loved one may have been bitten by a tick, the best way to get peace of mind, ask your doctor for a blood test. Hoda? All right, Morgan, uh, thank you so much for us in Dallas there. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.